Hello everybody, we're going to talk about Starfield today, but we're going to compare it to um, other games like Fallout 4, Skyrim, Fantasy Versus, uh, Science Fiction, that kind of topic, but from a character point of view. Now, if we go all the way back, right, to where uh, when the Romans invaded England and dis just destroyed English myth mythology, then thousands of years later, along comes Tolkien and writes Lord of the Rings to try and replace the mythology that we'd lost. He introduces elves, you know, dwarfs, you know, orcs into the mix, creates a story which has basically become the staple of every fantasy game since, or most fantasy games since. Science fiction, on the other hand, didn't get that kind of advantage. Even though we have Star Wars and a bunch of other games, most science fiction games just give you a laser gun and that's it. You see one right behind me now. So this Fallout 4 was even worse for it. Says so these are Bethesda games, I remember. There are others that aren't so bad. But even then, they do tend to be a bit on the shallow side. They don't fully embrace the idea of a science fiction universe. They just kind of like go along with it. And I, I would say one of the most harmful aspects of science fiction in games is trying to make it realistic. Because realistically, we haven't met any aliens yet, so you can't have any aliens in the universe, which automatically makes it less of a universe, if you ask me. But if you go to fantasy, they've got no problems mixing orcs and dwarfs and elves and things like that. And if you go to Morrowind, you needed certain statistics to join certain guilds. You had to have certain skills, be able to cast certain spells. Otherwise, it wouldn't even entertain you. You know, so and if you did, if you did try joining a guild with no skills, how would you progress? So you see what I mean. You get your skill set that matches the guild you want to join. You get your character which matches a race or whatever else. You're automatically building up layers of detail here. So it's simply because the character is an elf, you might use a bow, and maybe Breton is going to use magic. So they're vastly different characters as a result of that. Now we introduce uh, Fallout 4 into the mix. Fallout 4 just gives you a gun. Well, don't even give you a gun, you've got to find it. Right? So it's, but you're just a human being picking up a pistol, off you go. And it doesn't really change, you just get better at shooting. The depth isn't there. You, you've got one character, and it doesn't matter what path you're on, it makes zero difference to that character. <coughs> Bad me. Now, if you imagine um, is it, um, Elder Scrolls uh, Skyrim. Now, in Skyrim, you've got a situation going on where your character is basically like Fallout 4. It says an axe, go and kill something. It makes no difference. Some of my mods kind of made it different by introducing Morrowind style character checks for the Mages Guild, the um, Necromancer Guild and the Telvani area in my Dark Lord Grimoire mod. I brought it back, opened up them areas of gameplay by providing what you needed to play those games. So I added that back in. But if you notice, science fiction lacks that kind of detail. Says whereas fantasy usually has a lot of it, Skyrim not being a good example, and um, Morrowind would be a great example, Oblivion would be a good example to a degree, um, but in Skyrim's case, it was a bit of a lightweight RPG. Now, if we look at um, Starfield, the way Starfield is, now Starfield so far, the, the clips we've seen so far say they want to make it a deep, meaningful RPG. But we haven't seen any sign of that. It just looks like Skyrim with laser guns. So are they or are they not going to introduce more RPG elements? Because the RPG elements that they could introduce aren't that far removed from fantasy. All we have to do is look at steampunk, says um, cyberpunk and that kind of thing to suddenly find ourselves with techno mages and low tech worlds that run off steam because certain uh, minerals and certain resources are available to them on their planet. So, so you get different worlds. It'd be like uh, walking into a Dwemer world. Only these wouldn't be Dwemer, these would be human beings using steampunk or steampunk style technology on a primitive world. You go to the next world, it's high tech. Cyberpunk style. 
But cyberpunk resources and stuff requires a high level of technology. You can't just get it anywhere. You have to be on a certain planet. You might even have to be a member of a certain gang or a certain uh, group. And if you're not, it's not on the cards. And then what if you got if you did jo if you did join a cyberpunk gang or you just got it open through military channels or something? And you had a tech tree associated with membership of that guild or that gang or that organisation. Just joining it allowed you to start doing implants, but you had to research the rest to improve them. You see the depth I'm suddenly layering up here simply by thinking about this a little bit more deeper. It's no longer just Starfield with a gun, right? It's Starfield with choices. It's Starfield with the ability to make your character into a kind of a techno mage. So you see, I think science fiction really needs to be thinking more along those lines in the future, not just giving you a basic weapon and then use Freud technology at you. <coughs> Pardon me, I've got an itchy throat. So anyway, I'm kind of hoping that Starfield does go down that road because I think it really, really needs it. And at the end of the day, fantasy's been doing it for years. So why can't science fiction? See you in the next one.